On the 16th of November 2021, three US tourists were walking through Chelsea in London and they were approached by a group dressed in black and wearing balaclavas. One of the victims, who was 31 years old, was pushed to the floor and hit with a stun gun. The suspects then surrounded him and a vicious attack unfolded. They demanded the Rolex watch that was worth over £100,000. His father was threatened with a knife and cut through his coat but didn't cause injury. Their friend was attacked with a stun gun as well and forced to hand over a watch worth £200. The suspects then got into a waiting car and sped off from the location. Despite the attack being caught on CCTV and also mobile phones, those responsible were not identified because their faces were covered. The car was a Jaguar F-Pace and it was a stolen vehicle displaying stolen plates and it meant that it was very difficult to identify. Detectives from the Metropolitan Police's flying squad went through CCTV to isolate a part of the car where they seen a sticker. They was able to identify that it was a stolen vehicle and also able to locate it down to 30 other vehicles. The team contacted each owner to find any identifying features that may help to solve the case. One of the owners said that they had a permit for a child's school and this was the sticker that they found in the bottom right corner of the car. Due to this breakthrough in the case, they was able to identify the real owner of the vehicle and they was able to find more CCTV to lead up to the point the robbers met without wearing any masks. This led to the identification of a man called Lenigan, Stovall and also Fitzgerald. The car was parked in North End Road, South West 6 and a forensic examination also connected them to the vehicle. On Tuesday the 24th of January 2023 at Arlesworth Crown Court, Thomas Lenigan, 24 years old, and Ronnie Fitzgerald from Rumford were both sentenced to six years in prison for conspiracy to rub and also threatening somebody with a bladed article. Both of them pled guilty earlier on. John Stoffel was jailed for 18 months and pled guilty to handling stolen goods and assisting an offender. The police said this was a shocking robbery and understandably the victims who were tourists were very shaken by the incident and everybody should be able to walk through the streets without any fear of being robbed by people like Stoffel, Lenigan and Fitzgerald. The conviction was the result of good teamwork, the police said, and they were assisted with the skills of the flying squad. So thankfully nobody was seriously injured in that story but as you can see from the CCTV it was a very violent attack. Very similar to another story that I covered a while ago in central London and a man has been convicted of that robbery as well. Lindau Angel, 32 years old, was sentenced to nine and a half years in prison for robbery and possessing criminal property at Southwark Crown Court on the 20th of January this year. Two years ago in January 2021, Lindau befriended a 51 year old man they went out drinking together and they exchanged phone numbers before then heading home angel attacked him in a dark street and took his watch cctv and phone data managed to find him and he was actively evading the police until he was arrested this year in february so really appreciate you joining me for these stories and definitely a big reminder to be careful when you're out and about and also what you carry with you and let people see